Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. Today we're doing cake maths. So we're going to look at all the maths involved in making a cake. Because one of our kind teachers has kindly made this beautiful cake. There we go. Now my guest presenters are going to talk me through all the maths that is in. We're going to start with, firstly, the recipe. Oh, um, the recipe is four eggs, 200 grams of flour, 200 grams of sugar, 200 grams of butter, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, so often this comes up in GCC exams where they use proportion. So if this is a recipe for 12, K, 12 people, um, how much would we need to say if we need to do 24? So we'd have to double the recipe. So then we'd have um, eight eggs, 400 grams of flour, 400 grams of sugar, 400 grams of butter, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of vanilla essence. Brilliant. Now to start cooking, uh, Miss had to actually go off to the shop and do the first bit of maths, which was what? It was mm, money. And how is money involved in the making of this cake? Well, we're getting the prices and the ingredients of them. So all the prices for all the ingredients. Fantastic. And then you have to know how much of each of those. So under maths, what is that topic? Um, two grams. Yeah, the number of grams. So we call that measurements. So grams and things. Then once we've got all those ingredients, Miss is going to cook them. Um, it would take half an hour to make and 20 minutes to bake. Brilliant. So there's understanding of time there. So we have to know prices, measurements, and time. Now let's say that cake is made, as we can see here. And I'm going to cut it into the number of people we've got in this room. And luckily, there are eight in this room. So how, what maths are we using there? Fractions. Fractions. I'm taking fractions of amounts. So we come and hold the camera over here. We can see. We've got quarters, and for the eight people, now I've got that into eighths. But what other maths is there? Because we've got some smarties around the side. So if we just zoom in on that side there, I would say basically from orange to orange, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six Smarties. What's the ratio of red to green? How many red are there? One. Two, how many green? Two. So we've got one to two. It was a ratio there. Brilliant. And then if we look at the cake itself, you can see I've cut lines of symmetry. So I've got... If I had a design on that, you can see that there's symmetrical shapes. And that leads us on to the last topic, which is... Shapes. The chef couldn't decide um, what shapes to use and um, the tin of the area and perimeter of the cake. Absolutely. So it could have been rectangular, could have been square, could have been Christmas tree design, which have had a bit more symmetry. In this case, it's circular, so you could have a perimeter of a certain... Uh, Diameter, sorry, uh, circumference based on its diameter. And now the best part of this is going to be the eating. Eating. Thanks for watching. Bye.